The convert entity command is one of the most powerful commands inside of SOLIDWORKS. It allows you to reuse sketch geometry from other features or individual lines or edges from other parts. What I can do is if I want to use these same holes and these cutouts, and I don't want to have to go through all the time to draw all this again, what I can do is use the convert entities tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sketch over here on this side of the part. If I press the space bar, notice I can look straight at that face, and I can't really see anything. So this is where you might want to change your view mode from looking at it as a shaded with edges to maybe something like a wireframe. That way I can see everything behind the scenes of my part. It's a wireframe part. And then if I click on that face, I can see it through there. And what I want to do is I want to bring these holes and this shape here all the way into the existing sketch I'm working on right now without having to draw anything myself. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on this circle here. Hold on control. Pick this circle here that one and that one, and go ahead and choose these edges here as well. What I'm doing is I'm pre-selecting these edges, and then when I come up here to convert entities, click on that, automatically all those sketch entities get brought forward into my current sketch. Notice there's no dimensions. When I'm happy with what I have, I can then go over to features, do an extruded cut, and in this case, I'm gonna extrude it 0.25. Click OK, and there it is. Switch back over here to shaded with edges, and you can see I now have that cut on the top side of my part, which matches the one on the bottom of my part, but it's really not the same because this one here, I extruded quite a bit deeper than the one I did up here, but you're using the same sketch geometry either way. You can bring some of the geometry over or none of it at all, or just a portion of it, it doesn't really matter. The cool thing about this is if you go back to the original sketch, change the sketch, maybe I'm gonna change this to only 0.125, click okay, so it's quite a bit smaller hole, exit out of that sketch, Take a look on the other side, it automatically updates as well because it's using that sketch from behind or those features from behind the scenes brought into the current sketch and it's always relating back to those as a parametric feature. The convert entity command can be used for all types of sketching and can be a real huge time saver and allows you to link sketches together. Think through how you might use it and it'll really save you quite a bit of time.